Hi, welcome to my world of fragrance. I'm back today with another video that was requested by you guys, and that is to do a top 10 or like a short list of my favorites for fall. Now, as much as I enjoy watching these videos, I just found it so difficult narrowing down my favorites. Um, it's like, how do you choose between your babies? My taste, I feel like, changes from day to day, but um, just to give you like an overview of what I like for fall or what I've been gravitating towards, again, this was very, very difficult to limit myself. But anyways, here you have them, 10 fragrances for fall. So let's start off with everyday feel-good fragrances. You're heading out the door, you're going to work. I do have a day job, by the way, so I work in an office. And um, you just need to grab something, spritz it on, and feel cozy, feel um, appropriate for the season, appropriate for the mood, and somewhat inoffensive because you are going to be around a lot of people. So my first choice for what I've been grabbing, actually these are not in any chronological order. My first choice for what I've been gravitating towards has been the Architects Club by Arquiste. And the Architects Club is just so lovely. I mean, look how much I've worn of this already. If you're a fan of Eau Duel from Diptyque, then this would be right up your alley, except this I find to be more citrusy, more fresh, more uplifting, and just so easy to wear. If you're going to the gym, you could just put this on. It's a vanillic fragrance. Um, I don't gravitate towards overly sweet vanillas. Like, hypnotic poison to me is somewhat of a nightmare because it's just too much vanilla. If it's borderline gourmand vanilla, I steer away from it. I can appreciate the scent, of course, but I wouldn't wear it. And this, to me, is just... Can you even call this a vanilla? This is like an uplifting citrus with a nice sweetness to it, which is the vanilla. But yeah, I'm just like trying to shy away from calling it vanilla because it's not... Yeah. I'm just weird about that. Anyways, a good day fragrance. Next, we have Spicy for Him by Mikalef. I'm just going to let you know what the like marketing term for gender is for these, even though I don't care about that stuff, so you can get a kind of feel for it, whether or not they lean masculine or feminine, if that's something that's important to you. So this um, does lean masculine. I wear it. I love it. Again, look how much I've been wearing of this. And Spicy is exactly what the name says. This is a spicy fragrance. Very spicy, very fresh with resins, amber, with lavender note in there. I do love my lavender. There's something about it that just lifts me up. So fragrances with lavender in them, I tend to go for for daytime. I am having a moment with Mikalef right now. I wanted to include more of their fragrances in this lineup actually, but I'm trying not to be repetitive and show you different things. So um, this is my choice from the house for today. Now, longevity for those two is actually quite good, considering that they're fresh fragrances. I would say that Arquiste actually lasts surprisingly quite long, and especially sprayed on clothing. Um, so this one, I've smelled like, if I spray this, I smell it throughout the day. Of course, that's with a heavy hand. Um, so depending on what you like, go heavy-handed if you want more of a cloud around you. Go lesser if you like it to be closer to the skin. Now, my third choice is a house that I feel like doesn't get enough praise, actually. So it's not exactly a niche fragrance house. It is a watch brand that has then ventured out into fragrances. And this is Frank Müller from Geneva. Frank Müller is that brand. Um, if you've seen their watches, they have those enlarged numbers. Um, they look kind of quirky, but they're so bloody expensive. Okay, there I go using British terms again. But this actually, the design reminds you of how the faces of their watches are kind of designed as well. And um, Conquistador is another fragrance that has a vanilla element to it, but in a very, very different way. This is kind of like that bookshelf feel. And Frank Müller released five fragrances in 2017. I do own quite a few from the line, so I might just do a Frank Müller review actually. Um, the fragrances are not bad at all. So this is a powdery fragrance as well. That's what gives it that bookshelf element. And it has a violet note that I feel like is prominent and makes this one slightly more unique. It is meant to be a leather fragrance. I don't find it overly leathery at all, actually. Uh, I find this more to be powdery benzoin with a vanillic edge. It's an easy go-to classy yet sensual fragrance. So check this out, Conquistador. Next, we have a house that is quite interesting. And again, I don't hear anyone talk about this. And this is Ronce. Ronce is from 1795, believe it or not. And this house has had a revival. So they released um, Letizia in 2008. And this is the bottle right here. Um, I don't know what I did with the lid, actually. I'm not as organized as you might think I am. <laughs> Anyways, 
This has been a day scent for me the past couple of days. I've been in the mood for some patchouli. I love my patchouli, but this is patchouli mixed with florals in such a glorious way. This is marketed towards women, but again, who cares? The name is actually Leticia Millesim. So Millesim standing for them using the best ingredients from the best harvest of that year. So Ancy is not the only brand to use the Millesim title. Um, does it kind of ring a bell from some other brand? Leticia for me is just wonderful. It does require a heavy hand, I feel, if you want a proper sillage. But longevity is quite good. It lasts throughout the day. And this again has a lavender note in it. So yeah, that's me enjoying my uplifting sense. Check it out, Leticia Millesim from Roncy. Now, I've made a selection for one incense fragrance only. I love my incenses. Like, now is the perfect time of year to wear incense. And um, the one that I have sadly had to select <laughs> is Liquid Night by A Lab on Fire. A Lab on Fire is an American brand, and I just find that their, like, branding is quite unique. Um, the actual logo is, like, a lab with a fire. <laughs> this is actually a bomb. This is incense with heavy woody undertones. They have hinoki wood in here. And it's just, oh, there's just something wonderful about this enveloping you. It manages to also be slightly sweet. It smells natural with some musky undertones as well. This is just a beautiful incense. It's not one of those linear one note incense fragrances. This is more complex. It has some citrusy undertones as well. I just love Liquid Night by Lab on Fire. Check this one out. Highly, highly unisex as well. All of these are unisex. Don't even worry about it. This one I love on men as well, like love, <laughs> probably even prefer, um, because then I get to smell it on somebody else. So Lab on Fire, check out this brand in general, one to look out for. Now, time for some warmth, some warm cuddles, some gourmandy vibes. And the one fragrance that I've chosen for this category is none other than a fragrance from the Casa Moratti line owned by Sir Joff. And can you guess which one it is? It is Bouquet Ideale. I feel like when I saw this bottle in photographs before I had ever seen them in person, I thought that they looked kind of tacky. But in reality, oh my goodness, these bottles are just stunning. Like. And it's huge too. This is 100 mil with the uh, surge off stopper after they rebranded. Despite the name, this has nothing to do with florals. It does not smell remotely floral. This one is borderline gourmand for me. It's got some spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, woods in there in the heart. It's got tobacco flowers in the base with labdanum and vanillic notes. And this is just delicious. So Lira from Casa Morati is actually another very, very popular fragrance. I've tried Lira. She is absolutely delicious, but I cannot wear her. It is too much. It's again, one of those hypnotic poison type of fragrances that is just too cloying for me, too sweet. If you love those, all power to you. <laughs> I can appreciate them from afar. But Que Ideale seems to be like one step or like a notch further away from that super gourmand, like straight up dessert fragrance. It starts off very loud, like with one spray, the entire room smells like this, but then it really gets softer. And this is something that can be criticized, I guess, but I enjoy to wear fragrance that lays a bit closer. And especially when it's one of these gourmands, I'm gonna be choked to death if it's too bombastic. So this is just right for me. I love Bouquet Ideale. Try this one if you're into the gourmand fragrances, for sure. And now for another favorite category of mine in fragrance, leather. I love leather, 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 leather. I love leather jackets. I love leather fragrances. I'm just a leather girl. So the leather that I have chosen, and actually I did a top four for fall on my Instagram account a while ago where I included four of these fragrances from the lineup. And then I decided to do a video with top 10 because you guys requested it. But um, go over to my Instagram if you'd like to see more from my collection. Anyways, the leather that I chose is Pure Distance M, a master perfume. And this is the 17.5 milliliter bottle. This was created by Roja Dove. Pure Distance creates fragrances with master perfumers. And these have such a high concentration of oil in them. This one itself has 25% concentration, but they have other fragrances with up to 38% concentration of perfume oil. So they are potent. I mean, look at this packaging. This is the small bottle. They do come in larger bottles as well, but this is going to last me a long time. With one spray, I can smell this for like two days, people. And I am going to do a longevity test video, so look out for that. Let me know what fragrances you feel like are the most long lasting and I'm going to test them for you. 
So M is meant to recreate the feeling or the smell of the interior of an Aston Martin. So this is kind of like that playboy show off guy type of fragrance, or that's the vibe that they're trying to give off, like a 007 sexiness. And this is so suede, buttery, spicy, woody, absolutely smooth well-rounded. This builds off the concept of Bellamy or that type of fragrance, so the gentlemanly leathers of the past. And I feel like Roja Dove actually did an incredible job on this one. I love M. It's not a leather that's too sharp or too off-putting. It's not one that screams too loudly. It is a loud fragrance, mind you, but still there's a coziness to it. It's got cinnamon, it's there, it's got clove, it's got some delicious spices. I do have this one on my left wrist. Uh, it's just a spicy dream. It's a leather lover's dream. Um, and this one is actually very similar to Fetish by Roja, which I also have. So here is Roja Parfum Fetish. I may look at that bottle. And Fetish, yes, is very similar. I actually have Fetish on my other wrist. Fetish is sweeter, whereas this one is more woodsy, spicy, richer, deeper. So depending on what your taste is, um, these are very, very similar. If you like it a bit sweeter, go for the Fetish. If you like it more deep, icy, woody, then go for the M. They both start off with a blast of that cola vibe. So this isn't Coca-Cola, this is more like your artisan handmade Karma Cola or some other cola with great ingredients. And I just love that. I mean, some people are offended by that kind of description, but I love it. I'm a sucker for it. I might just wear both of these today, actually. Why not combine them? Now for my tobacco. Which tobacco fragrance have I picked? It had to be none other than Ormond Jane Montabaco, and this is the Intensivo. This is refined elegance in a bottle. Montabaco was actually created to encapsulate Latin America the woods, the mountains, the fresh air, the tobacco, the leather, the suede, all of that. But this is not Latin American peasants, this is Latin American aristocracy. This is like a cabin up in the mountains owned by rich people. <laughs> Mon tobacco is so elegant. I love this on men and women alike. Prominent tobacco leaves to my nose. That's basically what I smell. It's such dry, rich goodness. It's like the inside of a tobacco pipe, so that mixture of that dry tobacco with that wooden encasing that it's inside of. And I just love the fragrance. This is super long-lasting, great sillage as well. This is the Intensivo version, so even stronger than the regular, and it's an eau de parfum concentration. Definitely check out Ormond Jane if you don't know this house already. They make amazing fragrances. Now in come the florals. I had to choose one floral fragrance as well. And representing this category today is a dance around the rose. This is Rose Omeyade from Atelier des Ors. And look at this bottle, people. These are golden flakes. I mean, would you ever want to throw away this bottle? You do get gold in each of the sprays that comes onto your skin as well. And I've yet to come across a fragrance from this house that I dislike, I think. All of them just smell like very rich person, like the most high-end luxury body lotion that you could ever come across <laughs> is basically them in a nutshell. And Rose Omeyad is a jammy rose. As much as I hate that term, jammy, I don't find it very nice for describing a scent, but this is a sweet rose. It's succulent, it's fruity. You don't even have to question whether or not you smell good. So for rose lovers out there, check out Rose Omeyad. And now last but not least, we have my oud of the moment. I love oud, oh my goodness, and oud is having such a huge moment. Everyone is releasing ouds, but this has been my ride or die for many years now. This is Imperial by Bodicea the Victorious. And look at this bottle as well. I mean, this is pretty much a weapon. If you hit somebody in the head with this, I don't think they would do very well. Not that I'm condoning violence. So these bottles are inspired by the Celtic design. They're all handmade. They're just very heavy duty and wonderful. The sprays are spectacular. And these are beasts. Oh my God, Imperial is another beast from Bodicea the Victorious. This creates such a sillage around you. And this is an oud fragrance that is not pure oud. No, it's not another oud and rose. This is a rich, woody fragrance with sweet florals in the heart. It's Cambodian oud, the best kind. Bodicea the Victorious do not lack on ingredients. And it's that combination of the Cambodian oud with guaiac wood and the sweet florals that make this one unique to me. They all have this wonderful vibe about them. I feel like I can always smell a Bodicea the Victorious fragrance. And again, why would you ever want to throw away this bottle? I mean, if only you could reuse it, make 
So there you have it, my 10 fragrances for fall. I did want to mention one last honorary mention, and it is Meres by L'Herbolario. And this one has its very close similarities to Muscaravageur by Frédéric Mal, but at a fraction of the price. I believe it's around 20 pounds for 100 ml here in the UK. It smells sweet, resinous, warm, but yet not overpowering. It smells very elegant and luxurious, especially for the price. Please do not blind buy it, even though the price is low because it may not be your cup of tea. But this is ambery and sweet, yet manages to stay light. So it is a very versatile fragrance. You can go day to night with Meares, and I love it as well. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to quit babbling on about these fragrances. I wish I could have made it like 50 fragrances for fall, but that would have just been way too long of a video. Um, let me know down below if you like this type of lineup. I try to pick different fragrances for each video so that you kind of get variety. I don't want to be talking about the same things over and over again. And let me know what you're wearing this fall or if it even is fall wherever you are in the world. I don't know. I love everything for all times of the year. So yes, please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel for more and I will be back very, very soon with another video for you.